Spreadsheet scholars, in this video lesson you will become princesses and princes of the paste as we learn more about the power of paste special. Now paste special is a way that we can use just a single command in Excel to perform what would normally take several steps. Paste special will allow us to do all sorts of things. We can paste just values, formats, formulas, combinations of these. We can even use paste special to add, subtract, multiply, or divide numbers. And we can use paste special to transpose or flip values so that the rows become columns and the columns become rows. After we explore paste special, I'll also demonstrate how we can use the copy menu in Excel to copy exactly what's on our spreadsheet in case you want to paste it in and resize things in Word, Excel, or some other program. So let's learn. Now there's a companion file with data that we can use in this lesson. You'll find it in our Google Drive at bit.ly slash excel starter files. Just look for the workbook named using paste special, highlight and download that, and then open it in Excel. And you see that we're starting with a table with yearly revenue data comparing Facebook and Twitter. And as you can see, Facebook is both much larger than Twitter and it's grown at a faster rate. Now, previously when we used paste special, we were pasting data from the web into Excel. It opened a small dialog box with a list of just a few options. And up until now, we were only using the text option. But when you highlight and copy data in Excel instead of from the web, you get a far richer set of options in paste special. Let's check these out. First, let's highlight the data on our table, A1 through E3, copy that, and now if I want to paste just the data in A5, I can click in A5, and let's use Paste Special. Now, we can get to Paste Special in a few ways. There's this Paste icon up here in the Home ribbon, and the last option on this dropdown says Paste Special. Now, I'm going to press the Escape key to get out of this so that I can show you other ways to bring up Paste Special. We can also use the Context Sensitive menu by right-clicking on the cell where we want to paste our data, and when we do that, we can see this menu contains an option for Paste Special, and if we select this, it opens up a sub-menu, and and you'll see shortly, this menu contains a bunch of additional options, which you'll also find in the Paste Special dialog box that'll show up when we select the last item on this sub-menu, which is rather redundantly also called Paste Special. Now also note the keyboard shortcut that brings up the Paste Special dialog box. On the Mac, that's Control-Command-V. On Windows, it's Control-Alt-V. And any of the techniques I just showed you will pull up this Paste Special dialog box. Now we've got a bunch of different options in here. The Paste group up top lets you specify what specifically it is that you want to paste meaning you can paste only a subset of what's on the clipboard. For example, just formulas, just values, just formats, or on the right, you can choose a combination of these. Now below this is the operation grouping, and that allows you to take the numbers that are on the clipboard and add, subtract, multiply, or divide them over any numbers that you're pasting over. And then finally, you can skip any blanks that you're pasting, or you can transpose. And transpose means to diagonally flip the data, turning columns into rows and rows into columns. So for our first step, why don't we just select values and click OK. And we can see we've just pasted the values, nothing more, not even the number formatting. Now let's undo so that we can try another one of these options. I'm going to select paste special again, and this time I'm going to select values and number formats. I'll click OK, and you can see I pasted over all of the values, but the numbers keep the format that they had above. And it's only the number format, so the cell shading, the headers, the font color were not copied over. And now let's try paste special with an arithmetic operation. So we'll select paste special, we'll select values to paste, and down in this operation subgroup we'll select add. Now this isn't an especially valuable function for us right now, but I do want to illustrate what it does. Let's press OK, and we see any number that we pasted over another number was added to that number. This even happened to the year, so the year's been doubled too. So be careful when using operations in Paste Special. You probably won't be using this option much, but now you know what it does. Now, we've also got the table selection above copied and it's still on the clipboard. We can tell because the marching ants are still marching around the table that you'd selected and copied earlier. By the way, if you wanted to get rid of that selection, you could just press the escape key, but we won't do that now. We'll keep the selection and keep it copied. And now let's try just pasting the formatting. So I'm gonna right click on A5 again. That brings up the context sensitive menu and this time I'm gonna use the sub menu instead of pulling up the paste special dialog box and I'm gonna select formatting here now this option also exists in the paste special dialog box this is just sort of a shortcut and we can see when we select this we've pasted over the format but we haven't altered any of the values that were below that format so now let's try a transpose that's the option where we perform a diagonal flip of our data and why don't we paste the transpose data into a9 but watch what happens when we right click on a9 and we go to the paste special sub menu we see there's a transpose option here and it's grayed out now the reason for this is because we've actually copied a table above and tables can't be transposed that's because the headers are in columns and these special table headers with the 
downward pointing triangles for sorting and filtering can only be in columns, they can't be in rows. But if we were to transpose this, we'd be trying to force these headers into rows and Excel won't allow us to do that. But paste special gives us a workaround. So let's select paste special down below. And in the paste special dialog box, we see transpose is currently grayed out, but watch what happens if we selected values and number formats. If we do that, we're not gonna be pasting in the table headers. So now we can use transpose. It's no longer grayed out. So let's also select transpose and click OK. And like magic, the rows become columns and the columns become rows. Our data has just flipped out, but in a good way. Now, a few things to be aware of. If you try to paste special with formatting, the row column dimensions of the table that we copied above don't match the dimensions of the data that we transposed below. So things are going to look a bit off. In this case, the format is repeated vertically. So the same format that we have in the header is repeated in the fourth row. The same thing that we have in the second row is repeated in the fifth row. That doesn't look good. Let's undo that. Now we could do a paste special pasting just the formats and selecting transpose. Now this works. It looks kind of wonky though. It certainly flipped a copy of the formats that we have above. The formats for the columns become rows, the rows become columns, but it looks kind of ugly. So let's undo that. Probably the most elegant solution for reformatting our transpose data is to create a table and use table formatting. So let's create a table from the data that we just transposed. I'm gonna click anywhere inside of the block of data that I wanna turn into a table. I'm gonna press Command T, that's my create table shortcut on the Mac. It's Control T on Windows. We demonstrated a bunch of other ways to create a table, but I'm just gonna use the shortcut key right now. This brings up the create table dialog box. And when we click okay, we get the default table format, which is the same as the one we used above. This looks great. Now remember, if we wanna get rid of the table features, those sort and filter triangles, but otherwise keep the formatting and the data, we can just select the convert to range option right here from the table ribbon. Excel asks us if we're sure that we wanna do this. Click yes, and this looks great. I'm just going to highlight B9 through C9 with Facebook and Twitter symbols, and I'm going to right justify those. And now that we've got this nicely formatted worksheet, you might want to paste this into another document, say a Word document or a PowerPoint presentation. Now, the one option that we're not going to cover is inserting live data into a worksheet into a PowerPoint doc. And the reason for that is I actually find that I use this less. If there's something specific that I want to be part of a presentation or a Word document, I really don't want those numbers to change. Now, there is an option to allow updates from Excel to be dumped into Word and to change dynamically, but I'll leave that for you to explore on your own. So for our demonstration here, let's assume that we want to copy our transposed data into a PowerPoint document. And the data that I want to copy over is in the range A9 through C13. That's the transposed table that I just created. So I'm highlighting that and copying it. Now I'm gonna open up PowerPoint to paste this into PowerPoint. If you don't have PowerPoint, you can open up Word. Now you might find that things look a little bit different if you paste into Word, and there might be some other differences between Windows and the Mac, but for the most part, the issues that I'm gonna raise as I demonstrate this apply to both products and both platforms. And here's my blank document. But if I just paste this in with a command V, it would be a control V in Windows. I get this text with a row column grid. Now I can drag this around within my document, but we see we didn't copy over our formatting. And if I click on one of the handles in the end and stretch this out to resize it, the font doesn't resize either. If you're curious, this is what a straight paste would look like on Word for the Mac. Now I do get some of the formatting for my table. I can still drag this around, but if I click on a corner to resize things, the fonts don't change size. The resize doesn't hold the dimensions of what I'd originally Created, so I'm going to have to change the font size, the row height, the column width. It'll be pretty cumbersome. Now, most of the time, this is not what we want. We want to keep our formatting the way that it was in Excel. If we resize whatever we copy over, we want everything to resize with the same dimensions that we saw in the worksheet. Well, it's actually pretty easy to do that. Let's head back to Excel, and on the home ribbon, this center icon just to the right of the paste icon is the copy icon. Now, it's got a little pull-down triangle next to it, so click that, pull down, and we see that we've got a menu in here. The bottom option says copy as picture. So let's select this. And we see that there are two options to copy. One is as shown on screen, and the other is as shown when printed. Now I'm going to select the first option as shown on screen, but what this is going to do is it's going to copy everything that you see in the Excel screen, including the little marks that might show up in Excel that are warnings or other indicators. So let me first click OK. And then, for example, if I take a look at the range that I highlighted, I can see that on the left hand side here, some of these cells have a little triangle in the upper left hand corner. If I click in any of these cells, I see the little yield sign shows up on the right hand side. This is Excel's way of giving you a warning that says, hey, there's something that you might want to pay attention to. Now, if I click on the little yield sign, Excel says number stored as text. Now, this is exactly what I want. I'm not planning on doing any arithmetic with the years that I've got in here. They're acting just as labels. So this isn't what I want. This is a warning that I would ignore. And I certainly don't want to copy these little green triangles over in a PowerPoint. 
But if I go into PowerPoint and paste, well, I can see that I've got this nice graphic and I can move it around and I can resize it. The dimensions are the same. I can see the entire picture that I pasted resizes if I grow or shrink it. But I also get these extra Excel marks and I don't want those in my presentation. So to get rid of this, I can head back to Excel. Once again, I've got the range selected that I want to copy. I'm going to head up here to copy as picture and I'm going to select as shown when printed. Then click OK. Now, when I return to PowerPoint and paste it in, this looks pristine. None of those extra Excel marks are in there. Very nice. So hopefully we've shown you a few more ways to get things done quickly in Excel using Paste Special. Transpose is especially important. And we've also shown you a few ways to look good by using Copy as Picture, using As Shown When Printed for an especially clean but easily resizable presentation look. So spreadsheet superhero, feel good about acquiring more skills. In this video, we learned paste special using paste special for pasting formatting values and to transpose. We learned how to deal with the trickiness of trying to transpose table data. And we learned to copy as picture and paste into PowerPoint and Word for easy format and dimension preservation. You're totaling up even more excellent Excel skills. Just remember to be excellent to each other and keep at it.